Hey friends, so far 2020 has been an absolute amazing year. God is doing so many great things. He has been so faithful to what he has spoken to us in his written word and also prophetic words. I just know that as 2020 has started, God has started answering a lot of prayers that my wife and I and our church family and rural apostolic family have been praying for for years and believing for. And when you really lean in to the prophetic word from God, you got to hang on to those words. You got to believe in those, those words. And the word thrive actually means to develop well. Well, the main thing about this is when God was speaking to me about so many new adventures in ministry and business, he would give those to me and we would as we would pray those through and have people around us praying. When I saw things started really coming to pass, coming into full fruition, what we knew we had to do is we had to develop well the prophetic words that he has been speaking to us. Whenever we hear God leading us in a direction, we want to make sure that we steward these prophetic words. And so the first part of 2020, we have been thriving in so many different areas. Our church, our network, different doors are opening up. Whenever a door opens up, you have to learn a new process. You have to learn a new system. But the main thing that I've decided I'm going to do is 2020 will be the greatest year of my life, but I have to work. I am so focused right now. This is the most focused I have ever been in my life. Why? Because God has more doors open that I am supposed to walk through. Now, not every door that opens is from God, but when God opens a lot of doors and you start walking through those doors, the things that you have to understand is you will thrive in everything that you start to develop. So my wife and I, we have these different ministries and businesses and we have them all laid out. Well, the ones that are not thriving, I can go put my hands on them and start to develop them and then they start to thrive. And I can look at a, a ministry that we may have and it's just kind of stagnant or just kind of getting along. I can assign somebody with the spiritual gift of administration or help and put them on that project and bless them financially. And then they start moving in that and then it starts thriving again. Sometimes something is not thriving just because you're not developing it. Remember that God will give you everything that you need. Now, there's a lot of times that people are not thriving in something because they're not putting forth any effort. The Bible says people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. You have an amazing prophetic word from God and you're starting to move on it. But if you're not developing that project, that ministry, that business, it's not going to thrive. But when you obtain knowledge on something and use that knowledge to further and advance what God has called you to do, you're going to manifest the prophetic words in your life from the kingdom of God. A lot of times you are not moving forward in life simply because you are not developing. And what I've chosen to do this year is I have great clarity for everything that my wife and I are supposed to do. We have a lot of good adventures that we're doing. And then as we're thriving in a lot of different areas, the Lord has recently spoke to me and said, do you want more? I said, well, yes, Lord. And the Lord said, when you start thriving in every area that I've called you to, I'll add more because I got more because there's no limit to the kingdom of God. And when we start living out our life is a mere image and a reflection of what the kingdom of God says about us and our kingdom assignment, we start to move in that. And if you can learn to develop well, live your life full of strategies and systems from, from God and grab a hold of what the kingdom of heaven is saying, and you can move in that, you're going to start thriving in life. I've been around people who are 30 years old and they are old. I've been around people who are 80 years young because they have found out the key to success and the key to life is find what God has called you to and develop that. So whenever God gives me something, I put my hands on it. I say, God, I want this to prosper because you gave it to me. So I start developing. And if I'm lacking in any area, I don't make excuses. I find solutions. When you start finding solutions, it will change everything. 
So you need to make a daily declaration over your life. 2020 is the year that I will thrive and I will live my God-given calling, my God-given dreams out loud and the world will be blessed and benefit from your obedience. So if you thrive in 2020, it's your decision. You know what you're called to do. You know the prophetic words God has over your life. Now develop those and move forward and advance the kingdom of God.